Hey guys, what's up? So as you can see here, the skies are clearing up a little bit, very gray. We just got down with a nice downpour about two hours ago. And so this video here is over my rain barrel setup. I have four 55 gallon drums. Um, these 55 gallon drums are not food grade material. These are number two uh, plastic drums. So not good for um, drinking water. Not that, I, not that I wouldn't drink out of them, um, but they're not good for drinking water, more so for rainwater and to water the garden. Um, I have this one right here directly off the house. It comes off the gutter into this diverter. And this diverter has a little filter thing here that you know filters out leaves or any kind of major debris. And then it has a little cup that sits around here and it gathers the water and drains right into this hose into this fitting right here. This is a buttress fitting and this is an NPS fitting right here. Um, so this has fine threads and this has more coarse, you know, wider threads like, you know, one half inch or one inch per turn or something like that. So just like this, there's a, just a big turn. And this one has actually twist a little bit. Um, but I kept this one, you know, free and open so I can check it to make sure it's full. But anyways, uh, over here I have a 90 degree elbow slip and thread fixture um, with a half inch um, piece of PVC overflow that comes down here and allows the tank to overflow onto the ground without making a big muddy mess. I am going to cut this here soon and put a half inch to three quarter inch thread um, fitting so I can attach my garden hose to it and the reason being a lot of extra water is flowing over and my rain barrels down here don't get filled up as quick as this barrel here. Over here I have a half inch uh, extension to a half inch plug on the bottom and this is to clean out and drain the barrel in the winter time. Um, there is a lot of debris that comes from the guttering system here you know, old, you know, dirt from the air and, um, you know, shingle material, the sand stuff. And so it gets caught up in there and I can clean it out right here, also draining it. And then this is a half inch to three quarter inch um, boiler drain valve. It's just a simple uh, turn valve. It doesn't drain quickly, which is perfect because I can put my a watering can down here or a bucket underneath it. This is this will fit a five gallon bucket underneath it because it is elevated quite a bit And I can fill that five gallon bucket or a watering can up uh, To water plants that don't that aren't in reach of my hose and so right now I have this I'm gonna open this back up um, The reason being I am draining this barrel so I can fill These barrels down here. and I'll explain you that in a minute but there's two rings here and over here on this side I believe it has your, your numbers this is your 50 gallon mark 45 gallon 35 gallon 30 25 15 10 and 5 gallon marks and about the 25 gallon mark well just above this band right here is the top of those three barrels down there there's enough slope here that gravity will pull this down and pressurize it to fill these barrels down here. Or I can water my garden, which is about the same height at the bottom down here as it is over here. So we'll go over here. And like I said, I have my garden hose running to it right now. Um, I got enough water off my major guttering system that I can fill these up with this. I'm going to be re-shingling the shed soon, and so I didn't want to get a whole bunch of guttering. I want to get a whole, you know, set up here. But right now I just have some cheap vinyl guttering and three barrels. And this is low, medium, and high. And the reason being, once this is right here, this is filling in here, it'll overflow and I have to take a step up into this barrel and then take another step up into this barrel right here. And on the end, I have a complete overflow. So when this is pouring out right here, I know all three of these barrels are full. And I do have space right here so I can put a fourth barrel if I need to. Um, 
or overflow and just have a single barrel um, which will be very easy to switch out and just put a, a straight connector here into the barrel and then I can just you know come right out of the barrel but these are all three connected together what I would do is that this barrel is full I'll show you this full of water and the bottom of this thread here and the thread ring right here is above this right here and so you can see there's an air bubble in there and so it's not full not full anymore because it has drained into here and then I move my hose over to this one so we'll go ahead and put this back so what do we do from here well you have three barrels they either flow from this one into overflow and overflow but what do you do then well you got a water right so we have these three valves down here and I can open this one and let it drain into this one and this one collectively and that will allow them to equalize so I can have equal pressure or I can wait for them to all overflow and drain one at a time so we'll go ahead and fill this up fill the, the pipe up turn it on and I don't know if you can hear it but it's you know gurgling air into it and then this will go down to my system here and it's going around the edge of the, bar the building there and I can't get around anymore so let's come on over here and I have to repaint the shed get some new doors and the whole new roof thing it's not going to be a, a cheap or a very expensive project at all but anyways guttering will come with that uh, now back to the system and then down here this is the back side of the um, shed that pipe comes down here and you can kind of see it kind of steps down to here and it steps down some more and then I have a half or a three quarter inch to three quarter inch um, boiler drain valve and so now just opening it up and naturally it comes out of here with a lot of force and I know it's kind of hard to tell because it's the frames per second are so much, but it's just pouring out of here. And so, I thought about in the empty spot, or in between this back side here, putting a little 12 volt uh, spray tank uh, pump. And so I can just wire it into the garage, hook it up to a battery, to turn a switch, and I can pressurize my garden watering system which is right over here. It's very efficient. It's just some um, ground sprayers put onto a piece of three quarter inch PVC. And then a simple connection over here, which you can use three quarter inch sprayer, but I have a snap connector right here. And that just waters enough to, uh, you know, moisten the ground and keep them growing right. But this is also a quick update on the garden, which has been a month or so, but it's growing like crazy. Acorn squash, zucchini are producing like crazy. I have three zucchini plants and they're just crazy. Butternut squash, uh, Brussels sprouts, all sorts of tomatoes over here. Um, bell peppers right here. Jalapenos over here right in this little area right here is a uh, ghost pepper plant these are cucumbers um, some yellow squash I think let's make sure that's right oh yeah look at these Put my camera in there right look at that man we, we're going to eat so well and we can give this away as a good bargaining tool so garden is flourishing even though there's a lot of grass in there it is keeping the ground uh, it's sucking the nutrients out but it still keeps it nice and moist it's, it's kind of strange and i've been battling it since day one but it is what it is but so anyways garden update rain barrels it is going to be great season the summer's already been great the zucchini um i've already got like i don't know 10 
15 inch, 16 inch zucchinis off of it, and I'm gonna have to cut some more off now because it'd be nice brainstorm we got last night. So, anyways, keep calm and carry on, guys. Sorry for the long video. Stay safe.